Hi everyone, today I'm going to present the paper which is titled Amended Convolutional Neural Network with the Global Average Pooling for Image Classification. This paper has been accepted for the International Conference on Intelligent System Design and Applications. This conference is sponsored by Machine Intelligence Research Labs, United States of America. The presenter of today is Laith al the University of Information Technology and Communications, Baghdad, Iraq. So, first I will go through introduction, related uh, work, research design results, and we end up with conclusion. So, we need to know first what is the purpose of this paper, which is to design and implement novel deep learning model at the first place then we need to address we will address the issue of overfitting so this issue will be explained later in this presentation and also we need to know the motivation of this paper which is there are many deep learning beginners fall into the trap of overfitting without knowing that so we provide them with the solutions to avoid overfitting not only the beginners we can say the intermediate ones and the advanced ones and the good thing about this solution is not limited to one or two types of networks so it can be work with any architecture or any uh, deep learning deep learning network The motivation of using deep learning, currently most of the manual classification, image processing method uh, that is used for classification, machine learning classification uh, methods are time consuming and there is big chance of making error. By saying error that we cannot get high accuracy, high performance. With deep learning techniques, deep learning techniques can help to have an accurate classification. Significant improvements in many fields using deep learning. We have witnessed a big improvement in different fields in computer vision, such as text classification, like voice classification, image classification, medical image classification, and even security. Has all these measures have been improved? by employing deep learning. So this is the main uh, motivation that motivated us to use deep learning techniques. So what is deep learning? Deep learning is a branch of machine learning and uses uh, a deep graph with multiple processing layers and also set of algorithms that attempt to model high level abstractions in data. As you see, Deep learning is a branch of machine learning. Both of these majors fall under the umbrella, a big umbrella of artificial intelligence. So what is the difference between deep learning and machine learning? So machine learning approach, as you see here, uh, we need to do first feature extraction, feature selection, then a classification task. So we, we extract the features, we choose certain type of features, and then we push these features to train the classifier, then we get the output. So it's time consuming and can even make an error. These methods are very sensitive to the different size, colors, and textures. However, on the other hand, deep learning can do all these tasks, feature extraction and even uh, feature selection and the classification in one shot. We don't need to all do all this process, deep learning can do that for us. It's an automatic feature extraction and the classification. It's also worth to mention here that classification, these features that extracted by machine learning techniques are so much less than the features that extracted by deep learning techniques. 
one of the most famous type of convolutional uh, convolutional uh, deep learning is convolutional neural networks this type of networks is really popular and it's the reason behind that deep learning is uh, very popular nowadays so convolutional layer is the main layer in, in this type which is responsible for feature extraction and getting features the process is as you see here there is a filter moving around of the input image and extract the features from this image three different types we will go through this very quick three different uh, parameters uh, are important for convolution which is the depth the depth of number of filters the stride how many uh, window we move like as you see here uh, starting uh, one by one or two by two or three by three like I mean one two three steps to move sometimes we choose one two three it depends on the structures and the padding zero or even duplicate padding which means the uh, borders the borders around the image the second important layer in convolutional neural networks is pooling layer this layer usually comes after convolutional layer which is responsible for down sampling uh, part as you see here there are two important types of uh, pooling layers which are average pooling that take the average of the window and maximum pooling that takes the maximum value of the window and also at the end there is a fully connected layer then softmax it's worth mentioning here that convolution usually combine with activation functions that just uh, such as rectified linear, linear, linear unit or sigmoid unit turn edge uh, function one of these functions to speed up the process and to reduce the complexity so what's the research problem of a previous image classification method so we can put these methods of classification in two different categories the first category is handicrafted uh, features based on approaches such as SVM, neural network, cluster and guard things and also some of the methods that fall under the category of deep learning based approaches like using convolutional neural network as we mentioned before so these methods are sensitive to different sizes, colors and complexity uh, complex shapes uh, mainly this is a problem in the handcrafted features methods uh, of machine learning and also low accuracy time consuming and good performance based on the good performance is based on chosen features this is related to method that you use handcrafted but with the method that you deep learning there is also another problem which is overfitting and also the accuracy of system decrease with the increase of number of classes what is overfitting overfitting that the models learn specific data or uh, just kind of data and then learn this data as not allowing the model to learn different data for example we train the model on a specific data and when it comes to classification it you get uh, we test the model with the different data you will see there is very low accuracy that means the model learned a specific pattern of data and does not allow uh, and it's not allowed to learn a new data this is overfitting so how to deal with that so we propose a, a model that can deal with this problem also we add different uh, techniques to deal with that so our model is, conf, uh, is composed of traditional convolutions you will see and multiple branches different filters like 3x3 
5.5, 7x7, and also we use global average pooling layer and the uh, and the fully connected layer and more effective in feature extraction. Our model framework or our our proposed model has multiple branches of convolution. So what is the benefit of doing that? Generating several uh, base networks, including shared parameters, optimizing the information flow, enhancing the training process of deep network, allowing the model to take the advantage of multi-level of multi feature extraction at each step, being very beneficial for gradient propagation as the error can propagate through multiple paths. So here is the structure of the framework. It consists of three blocks and fully connected global average pooling, fully connected and output layer. So each block before that there is traditional uh, convolution to reduce the size, then all the features, all the input images will go through block by block. Each block consists of this part of four branches and residual connection. So each block consists of four convolution followed by patch normalization layer and rectify linear unit. All these concatenate in the concatenation layer. So beside this we get the uh, skipping or the residual connection. The purpose of that is to extract different level of features. So this one, for example, this first convolution has uh, the filter size of, of one by one, three by three, five by five, seven by seven. So in this way, we guarantee that these layers will extract the small features and the large features also will guarantee it will extract different level of features. To make sure we, we will not lose any features from, from, from previous block, we employed the residual connection, then combine it with the output of this block. Then the same thing with the block 2, then the input image and the output of the first block pushes to the second block and so on to the third block. After that, there is a global average pooling. So what is a global average pooling? As we explained before, there is average pooling and maximum pooling. Average pooling takes the window and get the average of this window, for example, 4x4 four four or 3x3 three three or 5x5. Five five. So for example, this example, 2x2, two two, we get the average of this one. The same thing for this window, this window, and this window. With maximum, we take the maximum of window. However, with global average pooling, this layer takes the whole image and calculate the average of this input image or input uh, filter. And this way will reduce or reduce the dimensionality of image, which is important to pass the one dimension array to the fully connected. To make sure this will help to reduce the overfitting issue, at the same time, one of the uh, technique to reduce the overfitting issue is patch normalization layer, which has been added after each convolution in each block. To make sure there is no more overfitting, we add it between each fully connected dropout layer. This layer helps to drop some of the network, so in this way, the model will not learn a specific pattern. After that, we'll pass the output layer, which, in, which has softmax function. We tested our model with different trained and tested with different uh, datasets. The first dataset is MNIST, uh, MNIST dataset, which has 
uh, digit numbers it's very famous data set we got uh, an error rate of three uh, 0 0.36 and we compared with the previous method our our method our proposed model outform the previous method methods and achieving high accuracy and this is the training process also we tested our model with C410 dataset this dataset has 10 classes as you see airport automobile birds cat deer dog frog horse sheep and truck as you see here we got an accuracy of 94.2 and also our proposed model achieved the highest accuracy compared to the previous state of the art methods also we tested our model with C4100 which is the same uh, this data set except more images so and also we got 72.3 uh, accuracy and also we outperformed the previous uh, methods these are very uh, popular data sets they are available online by googling by googling these uh, data sets it will be easy to find them so the conclusion of this paper we have employed a, a very powerful and recent deep learning model for image classification so we presented a new cnn model that combined different ideas including power convolution layers with different filter size also our model is very robust against overfitting by inserting global average pooling and linked connection residual connection as we mentioned earlier and also we employ dropout layer and patch normalization our model is ineffective in a way of an extractive feature is not just robust against overfitting is also effective of in the way of extracting features it's due to the usage of pearl convolution and we evaluated our model on three different data sets which are amino C410 and C400 this is the end of our presentation thank you for listening and I hope you will find it very useful